You're here! Welcome, welcome. Hmm. I've been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Oh, thank you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the storyteller. Pleased to make your acquaintance, I shall be your guide going forward. Now then, before we begin our story, there are several things I must bring to your attention. First, this game uses autosave. Okay. The game will automatically save at regular intervals, so you may stop playing at any time. Saving is a very important element of games, and is the only way to keep your memories in place. Hmm. If you do not wish to rely on autosave alone, you can, uh, you can also save manually via the menu. Next, please look at the upper right of the screen. This is the menu button. Presented here. Uh, whoa. Huh. huh. A little, little on the fritz there, but... Ah, uh, glitchy right. game. Square Enix. Makes sense. Well, you know, hey. Uh, yeah. From here, you can check the text log, view useful files, and switch auto mode on and off. Ah. Also adjust the brightness, volume, and other settings in the options menu. For instance, if there is a voice you would prefer not to hear, you can mute it by setting the voice volume to zero. I thought it was about to say you can mute individual characters. <laughs> I suggest you check the brightness controls and other settings now before going on. Now we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. I will explain other essential functions when the time is right. Ah, there is one more thing I wish to confirm before we continue. Mm-hmm. It would feel strange to go on without knowing your name. Ah, oh, yes. Please, tell me what I may call you. Ten letters or less, huh? Uh, yeah, what what should we be called? What are we, what are we gonna go by? Mmm. Well, did you have one in mind? See, this is your Halloween special. Is, is, he, is he, I don't really trust this guy. I don't think we should give him our, our, our true names. Oh, definitely not true names. No, 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 no. We, we gotta think of a pseudonym together. I guess pseudonym? We're in this together here, so, uh... uh hmm. Alright, I got it. Think of a Japanese name right now. Think of a Japanese name? Yeah. Neo. Right. Uh, you said Neo, I said Tetsuo. So, hey... How about... Tetsunio. Tetsunio? Tetsunio. Tetsu? Tetsu... Tetsunate. <laughs> Tetsunate. Bro, we're gonna Tetsunate! Yeah! Tetsunadio. Tetsunadio. Tetsunadio! <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. Tetsunadio. I, I love it. Tetsunadio. Oh my god, we must be a kid of Elon Musk. We got a stupid-ass name with a letter. Or a different character. I'm sorry, what? Uh. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. Uh, uh, He's creeping closer. Say yes. It's fine. Sure. All right, fine. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that was cool. Well, so long, Tetsunatio. We hardly knew thee. Let me try it again. We usually should be called Tetsunatio. How the fuck did it do that? Uh. No! Oh, okay, fine. Well, I guess we're Tetsunatio. How did he do that? Huh. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, now that we've, we've been properly introduced, let's begin our story. Thank you, storyteller. Uh, um, uh, from antiquity to present day, regardless of how society and civilization evolve, death has been a constant presence that none have ever escaped. Uh-huh. Whether it is one's own or that of someone close, death is always a difficult thing to accept. Tragedy, yes. This is an immutable reality of value shared by all, no matter the age in which they live. By the way, In I fact, oral traditions, yeah. I loved our name in that font. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> it was just really funny. Ghost spirits, etc. Similarly, in an attempt to defy death, many curses, rituals, and customs have been born from burning spirit incense to summoning the souls of the dead. Oh, ah, yeah. Some of those secret arts are still being passed down to this day. Hmm. Uh, on that note, Tetsunatio. Yes. This may seem rather abrupt, but... Is there someone you wish to bring back from the dead? Uh, oh. What if... What if you had one chance to use the secret art of resurrecting the dead? Yes, if you had the power to bring someone back to life, one time and one time only... Uh-huh. What would you do, Tetsunatio? Oh. What would you do? Me, personally? Yeah, what would you do? Would you use it if you had to sacrifice yourself? Would you uh, use it even if you sacrificed somebody else? You'd use it if there was no no cost, or have someone else do it because you don't have anybody that you rather resurrect from the dead. See, I I don't have proper context. Uh of course you don't, child. Now answer the question. Okay. Honestly, I'd let somebody else have it. You are a good person. I see. Very interesting. Yes, yes, that's what I thought you would say. No, you didn't. 
Or didn't I? Whatever. Huh? What seems to be the matter? Ah, you want to know what this box that has been sitting here is? Oh my this god, it's a, so old. It's quite the curious thing. It's a, this is called a color oh, television. Oh, color television! Oh, wow! Oh. Watching this on my HDTV, I had no, I had no <laughs> yeah. idea. Of course, then again, you know, you know kids these days. Exactly, right? kids it's, these days. We're old enough to say that, unfortunately. Remember when they used to be entire cabinets? I remember when they used to weigh 50 pounds. So, oh, in this era, a color television can be found in nearly every household, but we're going back into the early 80s! Ooh, ah! interesting. A person should wish to contact someone while they are out of their home. Oh, they yes, public, public telephones. telephones. Oh my god, this- Public telephones?! This is Death no! Mark 3, oh my god! Ah! <laughs> what a world! This is where most- this is where a lot of people die, actually, so this is a perfect setup. This really is a horror game! <laughs> the 80s, no! This is why you came here, no? Oh, yeah. Let's, let us begin. I've kept you waiting here long enough. What an intro. I present to you Paranorma Sight, a bizarre tale surrounding the curse known as the Rite oh, of Resurrection. resurrection. Ooh. <laughs> a peculiar yarn ensnaring nine men and women in a fierce fight for their lives as it unravels. Oh, Danganronpa 4, finally. I'm talking uh, Zero Escape 1, maybe. Uh oh, yeah. Some of the characters appearing within surely share your views on the right of resurrection. Uh oh. I imagine those who have lost someone dear to them will feel particularly strongly about it, clinging to it as their last desperate hope. The first I shall introduce, a man named Shogo Okie is one of them. Okay. Person of interest, got it. Breaking news! Breaking news! Oh, he's been huh. found dead. I wonder what that could be at such a time. Early this morning, the body of a drowned man was God discovered damn in a park it. in Sumida City. Come on! Police have identified the body of Shogo Come Okie, on. a 25-year-old man who worked at a company I in the area. <laughs> a signs of a struggle were found in the Sumida oh. police suspect foul play and launched an investigation. Oh, excuse me, please pay no mind to what oh. you have just seen. Goodness, you really nearly saw something that would have spoiled the story. What? <laughs> Just pretend you did not see that. Let us turn back time back a smidge and start again from there. Uh, do you understand? You saw nothing. Okay. You know nothing. Niskeldamus begs to differ. This never happened. This story is a work of fiction. All locations, characters, organizations, organizations legends, legends, et cetera, et cetera that appear in this game, game have no relation, relation to reality. reality. Please don't slender man people and stab people. Just, it's, 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 it's a ghost story. Come Spoilers, on. Spoilers, dude. Square Enix presents, of I'm all Im things. I'm impressed. Already. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Why don't you read this one? Shogo. Shogo, you all right? Actually, I'll read this one. You go ahead and be Shogo. How's that oh, sound? Okay. How's that sound? That'll work. Hey, can you hear me? Huh? Hey, that's not a proper answer. Earth the Shogo Okie. What do you think you're doing falling asleep here? You gave me quite the shock. Come on now. Up with you. Up. Uh, okay. And... There. How's that? Oh, All right. This aesthetic. Whoa. You feel dizzy? Have a headache? Are your humors off balance? I'm hilarious. I'm fine. I think. There's definitely nothing wrong with my humors, though my head's still a little fuzzy. Office worker Shogo Okie. Oh, an older cast too. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Turn your head around a little bit to see if you can walk all right. When the game is in control, use the right stick or swipe the screen with two fingers because it's also a mobile game as well. Okay. Let's uh, look around here. Okay. Ooh, that's Wee. weird looking. Wee. Ooh, that's weird looking. Wee. Whoa. Whoa. And then Whoa. she sees a crack in the back hi. of the skull. Oh, hi. Good, good. You seem to be fine. What a relief. You remember anything like where we are, what we're doing? Uh, duh. The Rite of Resurrection? Huh? Wait a second. When did I tell you about that? I mean, I, I guess I must have, seeing as, as you know that name, but weird. Anyway, you still seem a little out of it. Uh, why don't you look around a bit more? Okay. Uh, okay, let's see here. Let's examine... I'm gonna s examine your face. Where are we, anyway? Alright, this is Sumida City, Tokyo. We're at Kinshibori Park. Near Kinshisho Station. <laughs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> Kinshisho Eki is better. 
Uh, Yoko brought me here saying she needed my help with something important. The Rite of Resurrection, I bet you. It's just past midnight. Ooh, witching hour. That explains why there's nobody else around. Three o'clock is a witching hour. Yeah. I thought it was midnight. It's 3 a.m. What? Yes. Why? Cuz. Why 3 a.m.? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't call it that. Yoko, what is the witching hour? I sleep at 3 a.m. usually. <laughs> exactly. I go to this sleep This is Yoko Fukunaga. What'd you call me? Yo uh, Yoko Fukunaga. She's oh, 23, okay. works as a housekeeper, and really is into the occult. Okay. Uh, let's, uh... As you do. Let's think about a little bit more about her. I mean, we really hit it off. She's a lot of fun to be around. Okay. She's a nice person. Yeah, she seems fun. All right. No idea how she feels, though. Get this... Oh, uh, well, okay. We'll have to work towards that, my I bucko. <laughs> I, don't think she, I don't think she's thinking about anything right now. Look at her. <laughs> she's thinking about how you're missing an eye, and we're about to turn to the camera. Paranormal fanatic, Yoko Fukunaga. Why do you always pick Halloween specials that have a paranormal fanatic? <laughs> Every time, dude. Well, it's a, it's a popular trope, I suppose. It is, yes. Let's, let's recall what we know about, uh, Yoko, about Yoko Fukunaga. Okay, think, think, think. Got her name, met a month ago. Okay. Why are we in this park? Uh, and then we're gone. There we go. Ooh, flashbacks. Noon, one of my days off, just had finished running some errands in Kinshi Cho when I was taking a quick break. I had a quick break. I was just looking around absent mindedly. Uh, 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 I just I just wander around places and just kinda of stare at them. Air. Uh, uh, oh, you can actually Oh, hello. There she is. When I noticed a girl loitering, she was digging up holes in the sandbox and searching around the playground. <laughs> Where'd my contact go? Um What are you doing? <laughs> Seem so to be enjoying are, yourself. Talking are you about okay? I mean, <laughs> oh, she thinks they're human. Curiosity got the better of me before long. Struck up a conversation. Yo, what's up? Are you fucking nuts <laughs> or something? <laughs> you looking for something? Huh? Ah, sorry. I must look like a total weirdo. No, you look like a dork. I, I mean, what? Um, yeah, I guess you could say I'm looking for something. Or someone. If you want, I could give you a hand. Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help, but... But? Are you really just a good Samaritan? Or after... Or are you after, you know, something else? Look, I lost my wallet in the sandbox. Huh? Hmm, <sighs> choices. To change how the narrative goes. I'm definitely the other thing. Haha, <laughs> you're funny. Hey, at least you're upfront about it. Okay, I guess I'll let, I'll let you help me. Be warned, you might regret what you've gotten yourself into. <laughs> Rewind ten minutes. Uh-oh. No worries. What are you looking for, anyway? Did you lose a bracelet or something? Not exactly. I'm searching for one of the seven mysteries. Supposedly, this is the location of the Whispering Canal. Ooh, the what? Now I've done it. I bet you think I'm some kind of lunatic. Seven mysteries of Hanjo. Do you know anything about it? Oh. I figured everyone around here would have at least heard of it, but I guess not. Nice title drop. Hanjo is what the southern part of Sumida is called. A long time ago, this part of Tokyo was split into two special, uh, two sp separate cities. The north part was Mukujima, and the south part was Hanjo. They're pretty special. Huh? Uh, am I boring oh, you? God, I'm pulling a solid snake. Well, I'm not local or anything, I just work around here. Oh, then no wonder you didn't know. Well, the Seven Mysteries of Hanja was a legend dating all the way back to the Edo period. Really? It's that old? That's, That's like... like over 200 years ago. Oh, I've got your attention after all. I just assumed it was one of those fake stories made up to chase the occult craze. It was like 70s or 80s, occult were everywhere. Oh, really? Nah, I don't blame you. A lot of the popular stories going around are pretty fishy. But the Seven Mysteries of Hanja are different. Because they're all true. Mmm, they're true? That's what I said. They're the real deal. So, hold on. What does that mean? Are you telling me there's actually paranormal stuff at work in this park? Yep, pretty much. Oh. Well, there's gotta be more to it. After all I've done, I haven't found a thing. That was the first time <laughs> I met Yoko Fukunaka. <laughs> Hi, storyteller. Welcome back. All right, so now we know how we know her, but what are we doing here now? Right. Uh, judging by the context clues, looking for one of the seven mysteries. Probably. At the dead of night. Just, mm. just all of a sudden today, she's like, all right, let's 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 go check that out some more. Eh, where'd she go? 
Did. We absentmindedly lost her again. It, oh, oh, wait, there she is. Back where we found her again. Uh, uh, so okay. is the, a lot of the surrounding stuff just fluff text? Most of the time, yeah. Okay. Sometimes you need to look at everything before the game continues, of course, a la Phoenix Wright. Yep. Digging up holes in the sandbox. Okay, well, we're, <laughs> we're repeating history. Oh, no. Are we in a time loop? Is that what this game is? Time loop city! Uh... Yeah, maybe take a look at the animals. Uh, or, or the okay, okay. entire surroundings. Yeah, the Whispering Canal is right here somewhere. Apparently the story that the expression left at the canal originally comes up from. Whatever, or comes from. that means. Ooh, left myself a note. Files. Uh, let's take a look at these files at least. All right, all right. There's a oh my god. Canal. Kinshibori and fishermen in the section of the canal. Is All their days came to a close. Fishermen gathered terrifying up. Terrifying voice! Leave it behind! Leave it behind! Those who ignore the voice found themselves unable to move, and their previously full of baskets of fish emptied. Dragged the canal, never to return. Huh. Uh, let me ask you a quick question. Yeah. So I know it already gave us that, you know, everything is very coincidental. It's it's just a video game. Please don't take it all seriously. Yes. There is nothing, besides the characters, there is no location that's made up, right? This is all legitimate. Uh, maybe Tokyo. I mean, that's that's probably real. I, th I think Hanjo's real. Because I, I, I think part of this is based in a real warden in, in, in Tokyo. Okay. I didn't know if they were making up their own, like, precinct or a small section of Japan to yeah. have this take place in. You'd be surprised how many visual novels are secretly just tourist panels for uh, places in, in, in Japan. Well, that's how they get them. Oh, yeah? That's how the ghosts get them. It's just like a Root Letter. Ooh, I haven't played Root Letter yet. Don't. It's bad. Oh, okay. All right. What are we doing here? Yes. Specifically here. I, got, I don't want to check the files. Come on. <laughs> Well, we just got an update. Thank you. Uh, sometimes you gotta jiggle the key. There we go. Right in my face. Hey, what was that just now? Huh? <laughs> didn't d didn't you hear that? Uh, now that you mention it, I did feel like I heard something. I'm not too sure though. Hmm. That was creepy. But your special talent! You should have been able to hear it. Pay closer attention for me, okay? Oh my god. My special talent? What are you talking about? Huh? I mean, your spirit sense. You look like you can handle your liquor. <laughs> okay, that was a good joke. Huh? I have no idea what drinking has to do with it, but I don't think so. Huh? Well, you must. I mean, you can see me, right? Ooh! Huh? Good twist. Good twist. Yes. Good twist. Wow, right at the gate at too. Kinshibori Park. Yeah. Here at this girl who might be dead already. Hey, are you uh, dead? Let's see. Uh, I don't know how she's so comfortable talking about spirits, spirits and paranormal, paranormal like at this that. time. She got guts. She can't be used to it unless. No, it can't be. Nah. Not actually dead. Hopefully not. Wait, 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 wait. You're kidding, right? About what? I mean, just now. It kind of sounded like you were saying that only people with spirit sense can see you. Of course it was a joke, duh! You don't really think I'm some kind of evil spirit, do you? No, well, you're some kind of spirit. But yeah. I meant when I said about your spirit sense being strong. I bet you could down a whole gimlet in one gulp, seriously! There's a person behind us, I don't like it. That's the real reason I asked you to help me with this Seven Mysteries of Hanjo business. Okay, let me just clarify something. Are you saying you can actually see paranormal stuff? Sure, I can handle a solid Moscow mule. <laughs> My girl, what's up? Why are you measuring this in terms of cocktails? Not a believer, huh? Well, that's no matter. But you have to have seen some weird stuff over the years, right? weird stuff? Yeah, like, things you could see but could never understand. You can't be serious. Well, let's <laughs> talk about spirit sense. <laughs> okay. I've seen ghost photos in magazines before, but are you telling me they really exist? You bet they do, but you can only recognize them if you really believe in them. So be careful! So, even with my skill, I won't be able to see them if I doubt that they exist? That's right. The spirit world is all about the mind and the soul. You won't be able to see a thing unless you're properly in tune. 
Sometimes people can get caught up in the moment, thinking that they might see something, and then they really do, because they believed they would. Is that how that works? Yep, just like drinking. You never know how much booze you can handle until, unless you're ready to down some shots. I'm still not sure I get that drinking thing. <laughs> you know, I just realized how strange it was, how strange it was as, a, as the words left my mouth. Sheesh. What is alcohol? <laughs> totally unrelated. But do you actually drink real alcohol, I mean? Whoa, talk about whiplash. Things make you start making small talk. Well, our conversation was getting a bit dark. I figured a change of topic might lighten things up. Oh, uh -huh, I see. If you really want to know, I like to think I can handle a few drinks. Nice Shirley Temple. But to tell you the truth, I've never actually had a Moscow Mule. Really now? Yeah, I just thought it sounded cool. I would like to try it though. Why don't we go for a drink sometime then? Ooh, smooth. Who are you asking me out? Aha, uh -huh, so you were after something else. I need friends. No, that's not what I meant. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'd be up for that. But only if we find out one of the seven mysteries. All right, spirit world, let's get to work. So uh, let's learn about more about these mysteries, eh? Oh, spirit sense didn't get marked off. I just remembered. I actually did some research on the seven mysteries of Hanjo at the library. You did? What did you find? Bunch of nothing. I discovered a few interesting things. Oh, ho, tell me everything. Oh boy. Seven mysteries? Although they're called the Seven Mysteries, the literature lists nine of them. Yeah, it's a, there's seven, but there's actually nine. Well, I'm surprised you picked up on that. Nice researching. Some people think that there could be up to 15. That's a thing about these old folk tales. Stuff gets added to them over the years. There's more, ex uh, there's more extra stories than main ones. Yeah, but the Seven Mysteries rolls off the tongue way better than nine or 15. That is true, if you say so. I, know, I thought nine mysteries would sound good. The nine mysteries of Hanjo. But it makes sense, don't you think? It's more likely to be passed on if it's easy to remember. Huh. That's a good point. Oh, wow, again? What about the seven mysteries that caught your attention? Oh, so I read some of the stories and none of them were, well, scary. I thought these were supposed to be ghost stories. That's true. They're more like a collection of superstitions, really. But there are some pretty disturbing ones in the mix. Yeah, like the one that's supposed to take place here, the Whispering Canal? People who fished in this canal would hear a voice calling out saying, Leave it. They had to abandon their catch or the canal would take it. Right, right. Is that what you're expecting to find here in this park? Um, not quite. We're talking about a folk tale from hundreds of years ago. After centuries of the telephone game, who knows if it's anything like the original story? So, basically... You think the true, uh, the true story of the Whispering Canal might be completely different from what we know. Exactly, I'm sure it is. I mean, weren't you curious? About what? People from around here have that expression, left the canal, right? Meaning to abandon someone. This story is where it comes from. Except the story being told today is about fish. There's nothing about it leaving people behind. Now that you mention it, that's true. So you're saying the original story maybe did involve someone being abandoned? That's what I'm trying to find out! Ah, gotcha. Ooh, ah, so much talky. Intrigue, intrigue, intrigue. If you can believe that, there might be hope for you yet. You can't be serious. You can't be se Oh, wow. <laughs> That's the it? Right, now the right of resurrection! Alright, tell me about it. Oh, by the way, were we talking about the right of resurrection? Ooh, your memory is as strong as your tolerance. I'm gonna start calling you Martini Man Shogo. Oh, please do. I'm really climbing up the drinks menu, huh? So, you know about it, huh? The Rite of Resurrection? <laughs> so, about the Rite of Resurrection. <laughs> nice opener. Dude, I need a drink. <laughs> yeah. A magazine ran a feature on it recently that got practically everyone talking about it. Really? Maybe that's where I heard about it. Still, I don't know. Seems a little too far-fetched to be true. So, the Rite of Resurrection. It's a forbidden art of bringing the dead back to life, concocted by a famous omnyoji from an ancient age. Webster's Dictionary describes the right, the right of resurrection as... <laughs> Rumor has it an old manuscript containing an actual concrete details about the right were recently discovered. This rumor comes from a presentation given by the local historian Hideki Araishi at an academic conference. You sure know a lot about this stuff. I have no life. <laughs> That's because I'm secretly a huge occult buff. Oh my god, who could have seen that coming? I kind of got that. 
Oh. <laughs> that face. I love it. But if I but if a researcher spoke about it at an ac at an academic conference, it must have some basis in fact. Exactly. That's why I believe the right of resurrection is real. Now I'm starting to believe it too. Good. The pursuit of the unknown starts with belief. I got that from pre from Professor Araishi himself. Hmm. Wait, hang on. I've got another question, more talky. Mm hmm? You mentioned the Rite of Resurrection. Are you looking for that too? Does it have something to do with the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo? Ooh, you're sharp. I could cut my finger on you. Uh, how? To tell the truth, it's actually the other way around. What do you mean? Hmm, well... I started off searching for the Rite of Resurrection. But along the way, I realized that I needed to investigate the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo first. I see. So then... Why are you looking for the right? If you're looking into a way to bring someone back from the dead, does that mean you've got someone you want to bring back? Mm. Uh, you know what? Forget it. It just came to mind, so I thought I'd ask. I didn't mean to pry. Sorry. No, uh, no, it's fine. I figured I need to tell you at some point. Ugh. It's Ogopogo. <laughs> oh my god, the idol? Ogopogo? Yeah, I wanted to bring Ogopogo back to life. He died in an accident about a month ago. Ogopogo died? Oh, right. Ogopogo was my dog. I had him for eight years. Ah, okay, your dog. Gotcha. Mm hmm. On the same page. You spent a long time together. Losing him must have been really hard for you. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not sure if the right even works on dogs. But as soon as I found out about it, I knew I had to give it a try. I don't think I could forgive myself if I just let the opportunity pass by. Definitely. Now I understand why you feel so strongly about it. Thanks for telling me. I know this must be hard to talk about. Oh God, Uncle Pokemon. <laughs> just ugly sobbing. But you right know what? Next to him. All that led to me meeting you. Oh, perfect. It's like fate. So at least something good came out of it. Though that doesn't mean I'll stop looking, obviously. Yoko. I'll do everything I can to help you! You just met! Yay, I'm so glad to hear that! Let's keep up the hard work then, yeah? Yeah. What's that got to do with the Seven Mysteries? So, about the connection between this rite and the Seven Mysteries, Commander Shepard. Putting together everything we've talked about. My guess is that the original stories behind the Seven Mysteries... The true stories are the key to finding the right of resurrection. Ah, oh, you catch on fast, don't you? And that's why you're here searching for one of them. Do I have that right? Wow, 10 out of 10. You're proving to be quite the capable assistant. Main character status. Wait, since when was I your assistant? Anyway, this is all just hearsay, but... Switching topics. Some say that what led to the seven mysteries coming to be was the right of resurrection itself. Huh? Don't the stories come from the Edo period? I thought the Rite of Resurrection was supposed to be way older than that. Right? It seems like an old Myoji from the Edo period rediscovered the ancient art. That old manuscript I mentioned with all the details on how to use the Rite? Apparently it was written in the Edo period. Oh, right. I never told you its name. The manuscript was called the Record of Fates. Ooh. Whoa, what a name. Hey, uh, for clarity, what's an on Myoji? An on Myoji is like a, like a priest of sorts, like, a, like an uh, old Heian priest. Okay, okay. This is an this is an onmyoji. There you go. Oh, okay. And it speculates that the secret of the right is hidden within the seven mysteries of Hanjo. So now the seven mysteries are the new hot trend. Trending among who? You know, this the whole thing's starting to sound pretty questionable. Among us. <laughs> come dun, on. Dun, dun, dun. Huh, it's 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 too old for that. Uh, come on, remember <laughs> what I said about the pursuit of the unknown? Too old to be sus. It starts with belief, right? Belief added. I, uh, oh! Whoa! Whoa! What the hell? Everybody all right? Feels like the air just changed. Uh, uh smell the air? Oh. Um. Hey, Yoko. Hey, what's going on? Uh, uh behind us. Look behind us first, please. Ah, Yoko. No! Are you okay? <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Stay with me. No, this. This can't be! No! Do I no. have your dog's face? Uh, uh, 
look, look behind, look behind. Dog, Please uh, look behind. Why? Dog, ah. I look behind. Da, ah, ah. Yoko! Yoko! Uh, oh, what could be behind us? It's so bad. Mm -hmm. oh. See, there's nothing other here. Other side, other side, other side, other side, other what side, other side. What are you so worried about, Yoko? There's no reason why you should be... Wait. Yeah. I feel eyes on... Oh. Yeah, is there something behind me? Yeah, do it again, do it again, do it again. Nah. It, no. I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong or something. Is it... Is it up in the air? Like, up in the air and up? What am I looking at? Uh, what do I look see? Up. Look up. Huh? Look up. Huh? Look up. Look up. Okay, uh... It's... It was pointing over here. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Wait. She looks really spooked. I doubt she's making this up. Oh, I don't get this. Wait, why did it tell you to press a button? What's going on? Did something happen? Yoko? Oh. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Huh? What the? Good. Yeah, that's that's an appropriate what is, uh, reaction. So, so, what is it? Why is this happening? Well, that was fast. Well. Hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. One I am again. Still one I am. At Kinchy Boy Park. Still. Oh. Yoko, answer me! I've been Yoko! For 45 minutes. No way! It can't be! Why? Why? <laughs> That's not death. She's still twitching a bit. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yep. Cool. Cool. Spirit possession. Yoko, just hold on. Everything's gonna be okay. Is it? It's looking kind of dire. Doubt. With, the, with each passing minute. She's not breathing. Wait, what do you mean? She was twitching a little bit. Oh, that's very dead. That's... Yeah, she's just dead. Wow. She's just dead. Wow. Cool. Um, was that us? Okay. No, don't... No, don't... Oh, no. Let's call an ambulance. No. I better not see a handprint on the phone box. No, it, it's just a, just a phone booth. That's all it was. Okay. All right, Tabula shouldn't be long. They'll be here soon. But what are they going to do, really? In the end, it doesn't even matter. Wow, she just up and fucking died. Nah, I, I really don't. No. Mm -mm. How do you know that she can't come back when you don't know what happened? Recall a few minutes ago. Yoko. Wow. <laughs> it actually does. Recall a few seconds hum, ago. Hum, 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 hum. Well, fairly easily, we're dealing with the occult. There's a rector. I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, that's right! If that rite of resurrection she was talking about really does exist, there might be a way to bring her back. If someone can just drop dead out of nowhere, like, like they were cursed, then why shouldn't there be a way to bring them back to life? Eh, eh, right? It's clicking. Yoko believed in it, so I believe in her. It seems completely possible if I believe in her. Maybe, just maybe, I can still save her. <laughs> Big if. Even if I've got to deal with spirit senses and curses and whatever, I've got to try. You just met this lady. Wait for it. Wait a month for me, ago. Yoko. I pr well, it has been a month. I don't know. You... Right before she died, I nice felt lady I meet a month ago strange. dies, and I got a chance to bring her back. Might as well. Give it, give it a shot. So that scene where you're looking behind you, is that time-based? I think I had to look somewhere specific. Looking all around, yeah. I, I had to lock the camera in a certain way so they could kill Yoko behind me. What was the button, though? You had a prompt to press ZR. I, I, I don't know, but I pressed it. <sighs> and you killed her! Ah! <laughs> How could you? She mentioned that the Rite of Resurrection and Seven Mysteries were connected. Well, uh. yeah, basically. 
Whatever it was she saw had something to do with that whispering canal. Whoa, I think I'm onto something! Whoa, brain blast! Damn it, that presence again. Must be around here somewhere, but where? Phone booth, phone booth, phone booth, phone booth, phone booth. Nah, not the phone booth. Fine, dead body, I dead think, body. I think it's that uh, glowing malicious thing uh, that's next to her. Uh, something on the ground. Did Yoko drop this? Ooh, cursed item. Didn't know, still know. This is a small wooden sculpture. Ah, oh, boy. It's three or four centimeters tall. It looks like it could be a keychain, but from how rotted it is, this is way too old for that. Yeah, there's bad juju in this fucking thing. Yikes. Oh, I, I can almost touch the hatred. Palpable malice <laughs> radiating from it. What a description. That's, yeah, this is a good translation. They did great. <laughs> yeah. Palpable, malicious radiance. As in, you can physically touch the malice. Holy crap. Whoa! Whoa! whoa the hi. hatred is touching back! Hello! Oh, don't like this. Leave, leave it. Right, help me. Why? Drop dead! Ooh. A resentful memory is flowing into my mind. You are about to be hers. Uh, cursed. 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 Cursed with hatred and left in a hearse. Kill them. Kill them! Kill them! Those who walk away! Kill them all! You have acquired the power of the Whispering Canal. You can kill people who walk away from you. What? Oh! A murderous impulse seeps into my soul like <sighs> thick black tar. <sighs> hate! Hate! Murder! Now! Kill! Can you hear it, Curse Bearer? Ooh, a new title. You who so strongly desire the right. <laughs> kill them. Kill them. Should you seek life's restoration, take your curse in hand. Reap lives by the score and claim their soul dregs for your own. Collect enough to sate this vessel. And by their sacrifice, claim the gift of resurrection. Oh shit, a double-edged sword! Or better yet, <gasps> slay your fellow curse bearers. <gasps> for theirs are the equal of droves of lesser souls. Oh no! Now go forth and kill! Right, I'll, I'll make a note of that. <laughs> oh god. I believe that was your, uh, your pitch. I think, I think, uh, I think you've been hooked. S successfully fish hooked. Just a, just a little bit, how'd you guess? Uh, I, don't, I don't know, just, just the, uh, the circus orgasm you were having over here with all that. Look! If you have an awesome as fuck opening, I'm gonna play you. I knew that you would love this though. It's why I made it as a Halloween special. This hey, was right in your fucking it alley. It already had me with the hey, turn around, scary stuff behind you, and then there wasn't. I was like, ah, shit. Actually, it had me when it called me out by my name. Love that crap. That was a bit of me. Wait, what? I made a special account. I called us UDJ and the Niskel. Damn it! <laughs> That's still cool! It's still cool! I did it just so that way it would... I'm like, oh, is it trying to tell me what my actual account name is? Well, I've got a fun gag! Hey, I love it! So we gotta kill people! Kill enough people! So that we can bring back Yoko. And there are probably other people who want to bring others back and their curse too. So let's, t let's take a little bit of Danganronpa, a little bit of, uh, of Zero Escape Virtues as Reward, Let's yep, spread yep, over yep, a nice, yep. healthy sheet of, of corpse party, yeah? <laughs> yeah Low-carb corpse party. It doesn't get anywhere that bad. <laughs> the curse of the Whispering Canal. Gluten-free uh, corpse party, we'll say. That's pretty good, yeah. Corpse party has celiac disease. I'd say, I'd say with a bit of uh, with a bit of uh, spirit hunter on, on cheese, a bit of low car, low uh, low fat uh, <laughs> low fat spirit hunter. And oh, yeah, you can say gluten free corpse party crackers. <laughs> Just spread, so, spread so, some uh, death mark on it. So even though it's light, it's got enough uh, components that will definitely uh, sate any horror game fanatic. 
or indeed any horror visual novel fanatic. Oh my god, this is gonna be fun. It's 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 great uh, tiding over until uh, mm. until Spirit Mark Two, Death Mark Two, and that's why we're not doing Death Mark Two, unfortunately, because, because it comes out at the wrong time. But this came out at the right time. <laughs> well, that, that's my that's my uh, my face in awe right now. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feels like I'm being watched. Someone there? All right, behind, behind. Eh? Eh? Oh. oh, I knew you were back there. Hello. Hi, Hello. shadowy figure. Oh, is there someone there? Yo. Hey, you! Hey, hey, who's there? Oh, come closer, yes. It, uh, oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. How unexpected. <clears throat> what in the whistle, sorry. Nope, oh, another dead person. It seems it was your curse that killed this poor woman, I take it. Say what? What? Cat got your tongue, Mr. Okie? Hmm. Hi, unfamiliar man. A tall, humorless looking man. <laughs> he doesn't look familiar to me. Do you like the fade on the sides? He's acting like he knows me, though. Have we met somewhere before? Flashback. Oh, not this time. Uh, who are you and how do you know my name? Do you mean to say you don't recognize me? Are you a spirit, too? This comes as a bit of a shock, I must say. Look a little harder, and I dare say it will jog your memory. Okay, I'm gonna focus really hard. What's with this guy? Mm -hmm. Kill him. Look a little harder, and I dare say it will jog your memory. Okay. Uh. Looks to be in his 30s or 40s. He's all dressed up in a suit and tie, but he looks really shady. Though I take offense to that, come on now. Mm, please. Something tells me curses are nothing new to him. It's like, is this like. MIB, but for but for curses. Is, is it, like, he knows us. We don't know him, but does he have a curse? Is Ooh. he a curse bearer? I mean, yeah, can curse bearers notice other curse bearers? If we kill him, he might get a lot of soul dregs. Uh... I have no idea who you are. How do you know me? Have we met? Dear me, it's always humbling to find <laughs> that one is not as well known as one believes. Perhaps my name will help you remember. I am Takumi Yumioka. Talk me, you Mioka. Does that ring any bells? Huh. I think I've heard that name somewhere before, maybe. So you do not even know my name. How disappointing. Disappointing, but fortuitous. <laughs> Mysterious stranger. Yes. Cool, another person of interest. Now then, Mr. Okie, allow me to make you a proposition. Kill me, and take the points. You have a curse stone in your possession, I would like you to give it to me. I can't. I need to bring Yoko back to life. Oh my. So you mean it to use it, then? Oh boy. You know about the seven mysteries of Hanjo and their curses and all that, don't you? But of course, those curse stones. They are terribly dangerous things, capable of killing without a trace, so long as the conditions are met. I hadn't thought of it that way, but yeah. Imagine what might happen if one fell into the wrong hands. Ooh. It would be safer in mine, don't you agree? No, because you'll probably kill me. Although it seems I arrived too late to stop you from killing that poor woman. What do you mean? What are you- that wasn't me! I'm willing to overlook your indiscretion, but only if you give me your curse stone. No way in hell! For all I know, the wrong hands are yours! Very well. I'd hope to settle this amicably, but you leave me no choice. Quick time event. Quick time event. This Takumi guy must have a curse stone of his own. Uh, he must have a one. At least, it'd be safer to assume so. It would explain how he knows so damn much. So he can kill me instantly, as long as he fulfills his stone's conditions. Until I know what those conditions are, I can't make any sudden moves. Ooh, each stone has a different condition. Mm-hmm. If this one, if people walk away from us, we can kill them. Walk away from? Yep. Learn what Turn I Turn your back, walk away from me, curse. Ooh, okay, get my curse out first. 
So you have to outplay the different characters? Uh-huh. Ooh! So there might be characters that, be, that might be friendly, some that aren't so friendly. It would be a waste not to take this chance to find out about the other curse bearers. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll play your game. What would keep him talking? Let's talk about... Or are we going to have to talk about all of them? Let's talk about talking to me. Okay. Uh, yeah. Who, who, who are you? Can we trust you? <laughs> With a face like that? No. No. No reasonable <laughs> enough concern. Very well. I'm an associate of the great sorcerer Swigen Gamyodo. Sorcerer? Swigen Gamyodo? Indeed. You must have heard of him. I believe he was recently featured in a certain magazine. Your unfortunate companion there came seeking his counsel not a few days ago. It was from her that I learned your name. Uh-oh. I thought she would have mentioned me to you, but it seems that was presumptuous of me. And when did this happen? Why, just two or three days ago. Gotcha. <sighs> yeah, I'm not buying that. He knows I don't know who he is, so he's just trying to feed me a story. I've only known Yoko for a month, but she never mentioned going to see some mystic. I'm gonna tell you whatever I do at all times, Shogo. Jeez. Oh, although it is Yoko we're talking about here, so it's hard for, to say for sure. I hope that is enough to convince you that my hands are more than trustworthy. Uh, no, more doubt. Based on my choice from earlier, does the dialogue change? Sometimes it does, sometimes Ooh, it doesn't. I'll, how let do you... You, I'll let you know when you gotta do something. How do I know it wasn't you who killed Yoko with your curse? That's actually a very good question. Mr. Okie, if you are hoping to trick me into revealing whether I possess a cursed stone, I assure you, I assure you, you cannot. I assure you. I assure you, you cannot. <laughs> it is your curse that was responsible, Mr. Okie, no matter what you might tell yourself. That doesn't make sense. I only found this after Yoko died. Oh? Don't play dumb. I know you're the one who did this. Whether you choose to believe me is your prerogative, but you are mistaken. But you should know that multiple curses awakened at once at the stroke of midnight. Ooh. There are many other curses in Honjo, and many other curse bearers. Is it not premature of you to assume that I am the one responsible? Wait, so you're saying that at midnight a bunch of people became curse bearers? Yeah, as we're pointing to this conversation, tell me anything that I want to hear. So this is a little more... Oh... <sighs> misdirection? No, it's not, not misdirection. I'm trying to compare it to something. Mm -hmm. There can be only one. Huh? I do believe I just saw your companion move. Oh, don't fall for it. Come on, man. She what? She did? No, oh, I can't believe that she moved. You... She didn't move. Yoko! Hey, you rat bastard. Are you are you sly and sack Wait, of crap. She doesn't look any different. You <laughs> you idiot. Oops. No. Oopsies. No. No. Damn it all. Shogo Okie is dead. All right, first death. What's up, idiot? <laughs> my, my, Tetsunatio, you seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. This is mere conjecture on my part, but perhaps you ought to be more careful about turning your back on unscrupulous individuals. You got me. Fear not, you may make as many attempts as you please from before your unfortunate mishap. So we shall. This has a list of wrong endings, is that correct? We're not going to hit every, every one of them, but it's good to know that we can be wrong. Okay. And it didn't send us back too far. Nope, just gotta say, hey, uh, yeah. What do you want with my curse stone, anyway? I intend to seal it away in a secure location so it may never be used again. Doubt. I am certain that you too would rather be free of this burden. The power to kill without fear of consequence is, in itself, a curse. There are many ne'er-do-wells in this world who could not resist the urge to use it. All the more, if so, it promised the chance to resurrect the dead. You'll seal it away? How? I will put it in the care of a sorcerer who is well-versed in supernatural matters. Uh-huh. Yeah. If I have gained your trust, I must ask you to hand me your curse stone. What do you think? You trust this guy? As I certainly, uh, don't. Yeah, I don't either. Especially if he kills us. For each of the seven mysteries, there's a curse and a curse bearer, right? Do you know who any of the others are? And what would you do with that information? Nothing. Your intentions are nothing untoward, I hope. <gasps> oh, they are untoward! No, no, no! no. 
It is in the hearts of the selfish and insipid of those who would mo be most tempted by the rite of resurrection that the curses take root. And a curse is resentful memories in part a powerful urge to kill, as I am certain you are aware. You are a victim of circumstance, Mr. Okie, but your situation is exceedingly dangerous. You must relinquish your curse stone for your own benefit before it is too late. Too late? It's already too late! There's no going back! All I can do is keep pressing forward! And if you're going to stand in my way, then I'll have to stop you! Well, negotiations broke down, I suppose. I might take that as a threat, Mr. Okie. It's a promise! I would encourage you to exercise more discretion before you fall out, fall foul of a curse. Foul of a curse. So we can't turn our head, otherwise we die. Pretty much. Just, just push him. Staring right at me. All right, let's see if we can recall something. Yeah, let's see if we can get, get a beat on this guy. Okay. How the hell does he know me? It's not like I've been getting out much, barely have a life outside of work. Okay, we're a neat. Sal salary man. Oh, salary man. Yeah. If you're a neat, you don't have work. No, that's true. Never actually met him, so it totally slipped my mind. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, he's a car salesman! <laughs> out of the, the 2024 Samuel and Gamiotos <laughs> are in right now! No! Think of the value! Ah. Swigging Gamyoto my ass. <laughs> I know who you are. You work at Hihaku Soaps, just like me. You're the chairwoman's secretary. Uh. Well, that took you long enough. Your lack of company loyalty is frankly astounding. Allow me to reiterate my request, then. Not as a stranger, but as your superior. Ooh, hey, we're not at the office. You don't get to push me around like that. Uh. Why is our chairwoman secretary even out looking for cursed stones anyway? I refrain from revealing myself precisely to avoid such questions, but I suppose needs must. Chairwoman has a cursed stone! Since the dawn of the Showa era, the land of Honjo <laughs> has nurtured our company's growth and vice versa. Oh my it is God. our duty to ensure that curses do not take root in this land as we know as our home. She's gonna kill the competition! I'm not sure I buy that! Like many things, it is not a matter that concerns the rank and file. Chairwoman has no desire to spread fear through our beloved company's birthplace. Mm -hmm. Now, if that is all, I must insist that you hand me your cursed stone. Nah. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. I want to use my curse on him. I need to make him to go him away. away I will convince him to do oh that. Oh my god, it's a visual novel and a puzzle game. Alright, you know, he does what he came here to do. He, he suddenly needs to be needs somewhere, to be somewhere else. else. Over here for my curse stone, so I don't think he'd get scenario one, but... Maybe he can do something else. He's got to think of something. Something makes him in, makes it impossible for him to stay. Oh, what if the ambulance gets here? Ooh, good, good. Okay. Like it. All right. We already Let's called them. All right, so we will unlock that. Talk to him. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's get him the hell Yay. out of here. Oh, crap, oh, I totally yeah, forgot. Right. What is it? I called, I called an, an ambulance. ambulance. Was one of those options hands over the curse stone? <laughs> Oh my god, I totally forgot! Oh, here! Oh, 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 right here! <laughs> Slipped my mind! You should, should be coming any minute no. now. <laughs> ah, shit, he got me! An ambulance. Have you lost your mind? They will arrive to find you standing next to a corpse, alone in the, in the dead, dead of night. night. No doubt they will hand you over to the police, who will have some questions for you. Probably, but I'm sticking with Yoko. Unless you want to join me in an interrogation room, you better get out of here. You're telling the truth, I see. They're getting closer by the second. I cannot afford to be waylaid at this juncture. I fear I must take my leave. Oh, yeah? I'm not gonna use the curse. I'm not gonna use the curse. I'm holding out the controller out here. I'm holding my hand over here. I'm not gonna use the curse. Uh-huh. Huh? Sooner or later, I will return for your curse stone. I only hope you do not abuse it in the meantime. You have to time it. Ooh. I'm gonna let him go. Well that oh. oh well that I bid you good evening. <laughs> he used it anyway. Oh. Shoko Okie! Okay. You dare! I didn't do that. Oh. I didn't do that. So we have a vengeful spirit in that cursed stone. It does what it wants. 
Oh, that's good. He's, He's really, really dead. dead. So this is what a cursed stone can do. Whoa. The cursed stone of the Whispering Canal has gained 1% soul drag. Yeah, so much for a bountiful harvest. <laughs>